Thanks everyone for coming um, to our talk. I hope you know what it's about. We just found out now that we finished the slides. Um, so we're going to be talking about our work with the tag app delivery. Um, so we we put up the next slides and we can just introduce ourselves really quickly. Uh, my name is Lian. I'm a tech lead with the tag. Um, Thomas? Oh yeah, you have your mic. I need a microphone. Um, my name is Thomas. I'm a co-chair of the tech app delivery. Right. Uh, I think right the, the before we get started, just um, really quickly, like we're trying, like this is supposed to be something fun and more conversational. So we will probably be sitting down soon because it's been already quite a long week. Um, but yeah, we're just, it's not going to be super technical. It's not going to be super serious. It's going to be a lot of memes and a lot of just talking about things. And um, if you have any questions, you can raise your hand. And we will probably just be taking questions during the talk because, again, it's not going to be, you're probably not going to learn a whole lot about Kubernetes in this one. Um, so, yeah. And I think you have a stand up com comedy session today, right? Yes, I have a stand up oh. comedy session today later in Paris. So, uh, if you like my jokes, you can come by uh, later. Yeah, just talk to me later after this. And if you don't like my jokes, it's absolutely no problem. I won't be there. So. <laughs> So um, let's start with a very simple exercise. So some of you might know I'm a, I'm a, a teacher also. And sometimes I do some quizzes and um, so on. And therefore, let's start with, with, a, with a simple thing. I'm going to just also say that everyone who just picked up their phone and never asked what the QR code is for, um, you talked about it with your compliance officers and the security people, because, you know. You are all owned. Okay, so I hope every one of you, um, yes, um, scanned the code. So let's start. Oh, sorry. Yes, the first thing, have you heard about tech app delivery? So you were reading about it in the session description. Excellent. That's a good start, so you know everything you can simply leave. I mean, you did the, you did the work, so I'm really proud of you. <laughs> okay, so I think this was what we expected, Like right? three quarters. Actually, this is more than I thought. Okay. Yeah. Uh, which is good, because that means you're the right audience for us to give this talk. Otherwise, uh, we'd just be talking to ourselves. Then it makes sense for us to be here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thanks for coming, anyway. Um, so. Okay, and the next question is a more sophisticated one. So, um, even if you don't know what the tech does, um, what do you think it does? I think memes. Okay, the start. talk is over. The question has been answered. We can go. Let me see. I can't see anything. App delivery. That's good. Yes. It's a very different vibes on this. Um, slide. There's dance for some reason. Okay, I need someone to explain to me why, what dance, why dance? No? Okay. I think this could be a topic for the next yes. maintainer track talk, right? Okay. Um, what's Sia, Sia, Sia? What, Chia, Chia, Sia. Oh. The dance, oh. We're giving the wrong talk here, apparently. <laughs> okay, cool, but there's a lot of, of, obviously, app delivery, delivering apps, um, rapid app dev, totally accurate grouping. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, push and pray, naming stuff. Um, software delivery, chaos delivery, security, or not, as we just learned. Um, tag Saufen, stuff. Yes. Saufen, okay, there's some Germans here. Okay, right. so sounds, sounds pretty, pretty nice. Pretty accurate. <laughs> okay, so um, yes, and now I'm, I'm curious. So um, yes, I, I think I'm chairing this, te this tech for five months, um, but I never, I never, um, I was always afraid to ask, what does our tech? Yeah, or okay. what is a tech? I don't, you're asking the wrong person, really. Um, so, I mean, this is, I think it really depends on the tag itself. Also, a lot of it is kind of like what the um, people who are in the tag are good at. With our tag, we basically, we bring together the projects, so the CNCF projects, 
users um, and vendors to talk about things, mainly standards, best practices, anything that people would be interested in. Um, I think we have a slide for that. Yes. So instead of you being in your own room and just figuring out everything by yourself, you could join our community and you can like, find like-minded people to work on things. And we have a couple of working groups who work on very specific topics, like for example, artifacts. We had the GitOps working group who just recently moved out to merge with Open GitOps. Uh, we had an operator working group and we have the platforms working group. Um, I think you can go to the next slide for that. Okay. Yes, so, um, and is it always clear what we are, what we are about? Or? Does it seem like we're clear on what we're doing? <laughs> Does it seem like we're very competent? Um, this is all also voluntary, right? We're not getting paid for this, which <laughs> explains how, why we're so well prepared. Um, but the scope of attack can, usually it's set by the charter. So every tag has its own charter. It will explain what we do and what we uh, focus on. Um, for us, it is, Anything related to app delivery, so that includes uh, building, um, <sighs> delivering, obviously, but also like deploying, but also like security as it relates to the um, software supply chain, for example. So anything really that has to do with getting code from your computer to not like somewhere, somewhere, someone else's computer, possibly. So it's also about lorries. <laughs> it can be if you if you want to, if you wish for it. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm a bit more wise. Um. Yeah, so we wanted to like show you a little bit about what we were talking about in the last 12 months. So just um, so you know about the structure of it, uh, we have meetings, it's too early. We have meetings every two weeks, gen like general meetings. And uh, we talk about like projects will come to us and present themselves, um, or we talk about very general topics. Um, then we have the working groups, which also meet separately from the TAC. Um, and yeah, we just wanted to tell you like what other topics that we've been discussing in the last 12 months. Uh, now you can, now you can yes, go. Yes. So, um, and we have our platform working, pro platforms working group, and this is very, 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 very active. Um, and yes, as you see here, um, they are always trying to evaluate what platform engineers are doing, what, and so on. Um, but I was curious, um, I, heard, I heard about evaluations, I saw something at the booth today, and um, can someone of you tell me what, what this, this was all about? And where the hell is Colin? Ah, here is. <laughs> oh, look, it is the Platforms Working Group Chair, Colin. Everyone, please give Colin, like, the biggest applause. <laughs> yes. I'm Newly elect just before KubeCon, we made him chair. So this yeah, is a so moment. this is like, what is it? Uh, um, yeah, my first thing. Yeah, punish me. Oh yeah. Oh, it's okay. Abby, the other yeah, platform yeah. working group chair. Oh, thanks so much for coming. She's better. But she doesn't have a voice, so in this case, you have to take over. So repeat the question. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Thomas. What are you saying? Oh, can you tell us what it's all about? So the platform working group is all about uh, what tools, systems, processes, people, needs, all the expansive things, um, and how we bring those together to help app dev actually do their jobs effectively. Any cool things you recently, any cool things you recently have worked on that you want to share? We've got the platform maturity model, which continues to improve. Uh, we have a platform's white paper, uh, which is awesome. Uh, but we have tons of artifacts, and the coolest part about the group in general is that we get people from all levels of delivery, including AI-focused AI people, we have uh, API-focused people, we have developers, we have operators, we have product owners, all kinds of people that come in and collaborate. I think the most exciting thing is the meetings, so please come to the meetings. Um, we do kind of morning coffee ops things. There's one tomorrow at Le Balloon. I don't know how to say that. I hope I said that correct. Le Balloon. Uh, down the street. Um, but we've got all kinds of fun things that we're working on there. Yeah, the is the breakfast free for everyone? Like everyone is allowed to get in? Yeah. Okay. And it's 7 a.m. or something? 7.15. 7.15. That's why it's free for everyone. Because <laughs> no one's going to show up. Okay, but I see you're doing great work there. It it's, looks really fun. Uh, both, either, yeah. Just like At least the entrance, so... Yes, 
Well, I guess food is until it's gone. So yeah, you, you be, better be early. So, but if you want, um, join, the, join the platform working group. I think they are really the most active working group. We They're the most popular ones for sure. And we always had in the tag, in the tag at Delivery itself. Um, they are pretty, pretty funny, funny kinds of people. So also, I think you came from the platform working group. Yes, me too. I was um, helping with the uh, white paper. And after some time, um, you can also join us making jokes here, right? This is your chance to be on stage. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes, but the platform working groups always also dealing with challenges. Um, what does this mean about? Um, the, it's a video, and the challenge is to get it to play. Apparently, oh yeah, I remember. This was about multi-tenancy being a big issue, actually. That a lot of the platform tools that actually this is about the all the platform tools that we were looking at, and um, multi-tenancy was a big issue that a lot of them were trying to tackle. Next slide, please. Oh, we can watch it again. Sure. Uh, the other thing is security. Uh, we had a lot of um, projects that were introducing some interesting uh, solutions around governance and compliance and security, um, which is interesting because you would think that app delivery is very specific, and that's kind of what this talk is about. Um, if you think about app delivery, you probably think about CI, CD first, but there's like so much more that goes into it that also touches on other tags like security or runtime. Um, and sometimes we were asking, because your question was like, what's the scope? Sometimes we were like, why are you here? What are you, why are you not at runtime? Um, but it just, there's so, such a big overlap, so it makes sense that they would also come to us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, yes, um, during all of this time, we are also talking about a lot, lots of projects. So um, when projects run, can, can, uh, want, to be, want to join the sandbox, also want to incubate or want to graduate, um, they come to us and present in our tech meetings. So um, Usually they, they ask for feedback from the community, um, but also the, the TOC will ask for our feedback and recommendation on the maturity of the projects, especially when they, they're supposed to go to graduation, they want to know like, does it hold, hold up or not. Um, but this is also just a selection, like there were a lot more t um, projects that came to us. And sometimes there is no logo, so I found none, therefore they are not there. Yeah, so if you are working on an open source project that is, um, is a CNCF project or you have submitted to Sandbox, you're welcome to um, present it in our meeting, collect some feedback. Um, maybe if people are super interested, you can even create a working group around it. Um, yeah, it's you know, like uh, it's community work, so you just have to like do it and then hope that you create enough momentum that people want to join you. Yes, so, um, yes, we are already talking more about the maturity model, I think. Colin already told us about this, right? Sorry? Uh, Colin, you already told us about the maturity frame, um, model? model? Yeah. Okay, perfect. This was unplanned. Um, so at the, in the last 12 months at the tag, we had lots of topics. Um, and hopefully lots of time. Um, we re, uh, so we created our website, right? Yeah, I, we had a website, I did, like, streamlined it a little bit, so it would be easier for people to actually contribute to the website. That was a bit of a pain. Um, there are a, lot of, a lot of the work that I did, especially at the beginning when I joined as a tech lead, was to streamline it for people to um, work with us, to contribute with us, because a lot of times, People hear about the tag, and this is this was the same for me when I started. Um, I I knew one of the tech leads, and I was like, I, I would be really interested to start working with you, but I don't know how. And uh, what he said was, well, join the Slack channel, and that was it. And then I never spoke to him again for like three months. Um, so it was actually quite difficult. Uh, and then I just picked stuff up that I found like, oh, you know, like if we improve the website, it would, could be easier for people to find a place where they can contribute. Um, and that's how I got, got started. And then you saw that I've been quite active also in the platforms working group, but also doing other things. So you asked like, hey, do you want to become a tech lead? But that doesn't scale, obviously. We can't just like walking around and just ask every single person at KubeCon like, hey, do you want to work with us? So um, yeah, we, we uh, try and push out information and make it easier for people to join us, um, but like you get, you know, you get this blindness after some time, like you're just very used to what you see. And obviously the things you know, you know, you don't know what other people know, you know? Um, so 
it is very, very helpful for us also if you can give us feedback on like, I really wanted to help, but I just didn't know how because I was missing this kind of information. Um, like, yeah, everything is really helpful here. Yes, yeah, so um, we also talked lo about lots of working groups. So um, we established an artifacts working group, um, I think, but there's nobody here from the artifacts working group, right? No. Oh. No, okay. Um, so they are also talking about getting things into um, OCI registries and so on. Yeah. Um, so they are on the intersection between CNCF and OCI, to be honest. Um, we also had the discussions about the second version of an operator white paper. Um, so if someone would like to participate in such a topic, um, we, I would, be, I would all, um, still be interested, but it lacks kind, uh, kind of traction. That's where you got started, right? You started with the um, Yes, so for me, the, uh, I started with, uh, writing the operator white paper, I think it was four years ago. And this was my, um, my first step into the tech. Um, yes, we also partnered shortly with the CDF regard, um, regarding CDF events and how, how to get them in, in application delivery. Um, yes, and the things we also already discussed for the platform working group. Wait, can you hold this slide for a second? Hmm? What I, I just want to point out the, the language support part because that was really amazing that just the, after we got streamlined the website a bit and Abby did a lot of work to get people to, you know, contribute blog posts and, and I think we, you could really see that there was like some motion and then people started to suggest language support. So we have like, I think we have a Chinese version now, there's a, a Korean version, a Brazilian version, Japanese, Italian, Italian French, and those. So if you speak any other language and you want to translate a website, um, again, you're welcome. We try to make it as easy as possible. We do ask that at least one other person who speaks the language will review it because obviously we, we don't all speak those languages and we want to make sure that things are fairly accurate and there's no whatever weirdness on it. Um, but I'm, I'm really happy that that just happened. We didn't have to like suggest it or push it ourselves. It just like, it was just out of the need of it that community members just stepped up and did it. For me, this was a hard time reviewing pull requests because I didn't understand them. <laughs> I didn't see you review any pull requests in that time, to be honest. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so another question we um, we are dealing all of the, uh, with all of the time. Um, many of us have CI, we have GitOps, and um, yes, we have such things as infrastructure as code. Um, so I think we have all we need for app delivery, right? Um, no, I don't think so. So sometimes, sometimes we forget something. Um, and yes, that's what we are all excited about all of the time. Yeah. I mean, this is the kind of the point of the whole thing is like, what's our scope? What are things that are very obvious with app delivery? And what are things that, not, that are not super obvious with app delivery? And since we're, we have been talking about like, the, I guess the Titanic thing. I'm getting it now, like right on the stage, I'm getting now the, the, the reference of Titanic because the whole point is that we wanted to like talk about the iceberg. Yes, um, this was the iceberg. Yeah, moment. I just didn't, I just got it. I just got it. It was, it was very good. Um, <laughs> so, you know, the, ice, the, the idea of the iceberg is that there's stuff on top that you can't see and there's a lot more down below the waterline that you can't. And um, while we were working on, um, you know, stuff and we were discussing the scope of the, the tag, um, we realized there's so many things that just you wouldn't think are app delivery. And I, I felt like that is very important for people to know. So they stop bothering us <laughs> and like go somewhere else. Um, but we try to like del kind of like for fun and also to give a talk at KubeCon, develop this like iceberg model where we could see what are things that you wouldn't think is app delivery, but it kind of is. And um, I mean, I, I don't know, I don't, if you, were you planning on reading all of this or should we just put it there and let people read it? No, I only copied your, your stuff. Okay, good. Well, I already um, read it. So. No, these are only the topics we had this year um, in all of these topic areas. So um, we identified some kind of sections we have at the moment, so such as artifacts, then CI and delivery, which is more or less the main part of the gap delivery, to be honest. Um, then we have platforms, um, which came in, uh, in the last few years, and we have such things as infrastructure provi provisioning. 
So just a quick question. Um, have you been conducting platform interviews so far, dear working group? Oh, so sorry. <laughs> Please yell, Abby. That's quite helpful in my voice. Uh, we are still collecting a lot more names of people who want to participate. There's a QR code in the tag booth, um, but there have been a handful of interviews, and uh, it's really proving out that the framework looks like it's providing a lot of value already, which is awesome. So. Yeah, this is great. One of the things that we also worked very intensely on, obviously, was like how our presence here at KubeCon, what we're going to do, how we're going to use our time, because we get um, half a booth for the three days. So like half of the day, we get one booth, not half a booth. Um, so like one of the things that the, the Platforms Working Group has been doing is like conducting interviews with people or preparing to conduct interviews about the usefulness of the maturity model. Um, and we also have a bunch of lighting talks there. I guess, I, I think we have a slide for this later. But. Yes, uh, and as we, as we said before, um, there are many things which are under the, under the water. Um, Waterline, yeah. Waterline. Um, we don't see when we are doing application delivery. Um, they might be also important, but um, at the beginning, we never thought of them, right? Yeah, the deli app development. We such as app development or such things as runtime reliability. So. Um, when we are talking about operating systems and so on, um, I think it, sometimes it might make sense to make them reliable. Um, also about such governance thing and so on. So. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, sometimes it's also just a question of who can take the topic on. Mm. Like if something's between us and runtime, for example, it's like, well, who has the space to manage a working group right now? So it's not always like a, like a logical um, decision, but sometimes it's like, kind of political or operational? Yes. Yes, and so um, we are asking ourselves, is app delivery eating the world? So um, yeah, it seems like we are- everything now. Yes, the answer is yes. We are getting a big blue mon monster, yes. Yeah, uh, I mean, one of the things that we noticed is that app development and app delivery are definitely moving closer together. There's all this, you know, the whole idea of DevOps um, bringing, basically removing the wall of confusion or the wall of isolation, bringing them closer together, making app developers care about how things are delivered and how things are running and operating, um, that has shifted kind of like what app delivery actually means. At least for some people. Yes. Um, Not you. We are, yes, um, we are also overlapping with, with many other, other topics such as service architecture, governance, random reliability, as I said before. So, um, yes, and at some point in time we saw some, uh, we got some requests regarding working groups, regarding some projects and so on. And um, yes, I'm sweating still. Uh, and um, this is a long discussion. We had that discussion for like almost a year, right? like a long time. It felt like a year. Mm -hmm. um, whether app development is actually part of app delivery or not. Which I mean, can, can I just get a show of hand? Who thinks app development is part of app delivery? Okay, I'm gonna not gonna say the next thing that I was gonna say. Okay, uh, that's surprising um, to me. I'm sorry for those people who raised their hands, um, <laughs> but I'm proud to announce that today we uh, discussed, discussed and decided to build a working group for app development. Um, the funny thing about this tag is at the moment we don't have a charter, so um, we are trying to get the working group out of um, established by, by, the, by the practitioners and by the people who need the things. And who knows what they are doing? Because um, initially, app delivery was not uh, was not established for developers. So it's better to let developers decide what they need and um, deciding on what they uh, want to work. For, um. Can I uh, just quickly? Can you get, show me your hand again? When you, the people who thought app deliver uh, app development is part of app delivery? Okay, so you all are also volunteering for this, right? Yes, excellent. Okay, so then easy this? scan the, co scan the code. Um, yes, sorry, there was a question. The correct answer? I don't, I mean, I don't think we have a correct answer. Just here. say yes. Is, 
It is uh, very philosophical at this point. I mean, um, the, the, when we first discussed it, um, the TOC first saw it with us. They said, like, out, out of all the tax, obviously, it would, again, it was more of an operational and practical decision, which was that we don't want to establish a new tag just for app development. Um, this is part of what app, it's closest to what app delivery does. But then after like a lot of discussions, now they're saying, well, actually, you know, it seems like there will be much more interest and we just really can't fit it into our charter. It doesn't really align with our scope, uh, how, no matter how you cut it. Yes. So um, with, I hope we solve this problem in some month. Um, but the next question I, I would have now is, do you see any areas except the ones we had on the iceberg model or on the iceberg model um, we should focus on? And this would be the next question on our Slido session here. You, you are allowed to scan this QR code now. This is a safe QR code to scan. Um, sure. Only one way to find out. Uh, yeah, we would definitely be interested like what, what topics you are interested in. Um, we definitely want to make the the tag work for the community and especially for people who are not in the community yet because we always want more people to join and want diverse opinions and uh, perspectives so okay right. <laughs> looks good so it seems like we should focus on app delivery go back to the roots right it does make sense it does somehow make sense and there's now, is this? There's nothing for APIs. We or we can, we have to scroll down. Oh, <laughs> oh it's ten, ten percent for APIs. Yeah, so it's definitely interesting for us to get an idea of what we should, what we could do next. And I think it's interesting because the topics that we have are usually just dictated or not dictated, but it, it's by the projects who come to us who wanna introduce themselves. And it's not often that community members suggest a topic of discussion. So um, this is interesting for us to see that what the you know, actual interest of, of you all are in this room. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I have one last question. Yes, there was a question. I saw that you've published some uh, results of questions like this. And it would be kind of interesting to know what types of people they are that are asking for this like if there's 80 percent wanting this or that then it's kind of really interesting to know what are they doing in their work because otherwise the whole it's very very biased yes that's a good point uh, yeah. go ahead so yes um, I also tried to find um, what topics we should deal with in the tech um, I, w um, I think free pizza of the KubeCon talks beer more memes yeah, I'm, that, I'm done with that. I think we need more, more fun. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> good. Um, with this, I think this... Yeah, as, so if you want to talk more to us, uh, so we have a booth, as I said. It's not now, <laughs> because it's afternoon now, but tomorrow we have a, the booth for two and a half more hours, I think from 10 to 12.30 or something like that. Uh, so you can scan the QR code and find out a bit more about our plans here. Um, yeah, please join our Slack channel for sure. Uh, join the Slack channel of the working groups that you're interested in. Um, if you want to, you can join the meetings as well. We're always um, really happy when more people join. And you know, again, I, we would really like some more diverse opinions, especially people who maybe are not that involved with tech, app, like with app delivery yet, but you know, would like to learn more and just want to um, give kind of a little bit of feedback what what they find is missing. And um, yes, possible? another another thing. So it always seems to be non-technical what we are doing. Sometimes there are technical things, but um, we are always um, happy to see new faces in our meetings um, and new people joining the working group uh, or working groups or take or the take itself. Um, as you see, sometimes it can be fun. Um, the topics, so I, I liked working on the operator white paper. I learned a lot um, through, throughout this time. And I think this, this is a pretty cool possibility to learn new things, even if you are not really 
um, really into a topic. So, and it's um, not that hard to become a tech lead or a chair at the moment because we really like need a lot of people to help out. So yes, you see, I'm there. Yeah, exactly. Like you didn't you didn't do anything up until two minutes ago, so you know, yes. it wasn't that hard. Um, but yeah, if you want to get involved with the CNCF a little bit, but you don't want to commit too much, like this is a good way to just like see is there anything I can help with, even if it's just you know like fixing a spelling error on the website, like anything really helps. Do we have one more slide? I think so. Okay. Um, but last but not least, if you are interested in the app development working group, feel free to join them. Um, it's your chance to get into the, into the work of us in CERN. It's even easier to become a chair there because they don't even have a charter at the moment. Mm, we, ha we have lots of people now. So oh, really? That, yes, so that, that happened think, in the last two hours. I think before I saw 55 people here in the room. So. Um, it will get hard to get a chair there. So, um, last but not least, um, what we wanted to ask was... Um, Sorry, who wrote Bruder muss los? <laughs> Sorry? Someone wrote Bruder muss los. Yeah. Um, the, last, the last thing I wanted to ask is how likely it is that you would like to join the tag. Um, so, please close the door. Um, and um, yes, if you are on the right on the right side of the of the of the diagram or diagram diagram bar um, chart, bar chart is, um, then I think the next meeting is in Wednesday. In two Wednesday weeks. in two weeks because we just had a meeting this week. Should be like thirty people. Come. There should be yeah. At least fifty people is yeah. And your friends and your grandparents. Yes. And and if you're on this side of the slide, like I would like to know why you're not as interested. Like, like I'm not gonna be offended, and I'm promise I'm not gonna like hurt you. But I would just really like to know. I but would you have really to like to know after this amazing talk. Yeah. Okay, and with this, I think this was our last slide. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, <laughs> no. <laughs> Seems yeah, so. Good. So with this. Thank you for listening to all of the all of the funny stuff we are talk, we are talking about. Yeah, thanks, thanks um, for staying. Thank you. Okay.